Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Seeker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. This lesson, I am going to be answering a question that was put to me by one of my subscribers, uh, just uh, getting into Guitar Pro. And he was asking me, how would you actually put a chord into uh, a Guitar Pro file? So I thought instead of just replying back, and I'm going to do a lot of typing, I thought, well, let's just put together uh, a short video showing you how to do this and also different things that you can do with the chord menu so uh, what we've got here is just the opening page of a guitar pro and uh, we are going to just start a session so i'm just going to go new and i'm just going to set it up as a stringed instrument electric guitar which i'm sure most of you are using guitar pro for this so we've got create and uh, I'm not going to do anything more with that. We've just got that opening section there. So question was, how do we actually put a chord into this? Uh, very, very simple. So there is a keyboard shortcut that you can use. So if I just press the A on the keypad, it opens up a chord window. And here, this is where all the magic happens. Now, if I just want to put a C major chord into the system, onto the file, I just click on the menu and I see uh, the type, which is C, and it comes up as a major chord, and we have the window here that shows me a standard uh, C chord. If I'm happy with that, that's what I'm looking for, I, I can just click OK. Uh, we also have alternative shapes that we can use. So if you're working with the cage system and you want to use different shapes to show what part of the system you're in, I've got uh, this shape here, which is the A. Uh, if I move up on the fretboard to the eight frets, so using the E shape. Uh, so I've got all varieties that I can add to the, the system, uh, to the file, shall I say. So we're just going to go for a standard one. So I've selected that and then all I do, I press OK. And straight away, we can see that it's been installed onto the, uh, the staff there. We've also got the tab. Uh, of course, I can change whatever value I want for it. So just using that shortcut there, that enables you to add that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out, as you see, is also put a picture of the chord here, which is great if you're producing a file and you want to put in a number of different chords. Let's just call this one a whole. Uh, let's just do that again. So I've got an A, and I've got that window open. So let's go for a, an F. And we can see again that we have got the F chord, and I've got all the different varieties, variations of the F chord. And if I click OK, it puts it into the second bar there. And it also brings up that picture. And what I want to show you now is how I can change the layout of the chords as well in Guitar Pro. And the way we do that, we go to File, and we're looking at Style Sheet. And we can also use Function F7, and it brings up the Style Sheet window. And we are going to Page and Score Format. So I, what I'm gonna do is scroll down to Chord Diagrams. Now what I've got there is on the top of the score, visible. Now, if I click it to off and apply, you can see it's taken them straight out. To have them at the top again, I go back to the top of the score, visible, and then when I apply it, they appear. I can change the size. So as you can see, it's just made the picture or the images of the chords a lot bigger. Uh, and of course, I can go way over the top here them really really large so it depends how you want to format that the next is saying in the score uh, again I've got this off as visible but if I click on and apply it now puts the chord image above the notation as well so it really depends I can, I can have the two so I can have them both or at the top of the sheet uh, I flick that back and I just have them above the chord notation itself in the score. So 
two ways you can use it, but that's how you would apply that. So I'm going to leave it because I always like them at the top there so people can see exactly what chords they're going to be playing because it would come across as a, a chord library for you. So I'm going to OK that. Now another thing that I want to show you here is how you can actually apply a chord diagram when you don't actually know what the chord is called. So we're going to bring up the chord window and there I've got a blank display here. And I can actually just put the fingering down that I want to uh, show you. So say I've got a chord that is giving me this position here. Uh, that is telling me now I've got a B flat diminished with a C in the bass. Uh, this little tabs here, they will change between if you are using a bar with the first finger. It will also change how you will actually play if you want to play the bar across there, which uh, you really wouldn't on this case, but it does enable you to do that. And you've got different selections then if you want to actually look at different positions to play that chord in. So I've got a B flat with a C in the bass. We can actually change the root note as well. So I can highlight the root note. So I go on here and I can change that. So quite kind of useful function uh, for applying chords or finding chord names out and using them in the score. So now I've got that laid out and all I have to do now is press OK and I've got another chord written into the notation. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Uh, until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well, thanks for your company, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Till then, goodbye.